So the first thing I tell my clients to do when they're, they say, Noah, I just don't have time. List out a day, you know, take 15, 20 minutes to list out your whole entire day, like a typical Monday, typical Friday, maybe just a typical Monday. The reason why I say this is you would actually be surprised. A lot of us really underestimate the time that we have available to us. Usually have them do this because you can usually find at least 30 to 45 minutes in there that you can actually fit in a workout. This could be instead of watching two hours of TV, you maybe watch one hour of TV. Maybe those 30 minutes that you use in the morning to catch up on social media, Facebook and Instagram can be used to go take a walk or take a jog outside in the morning before you get ready for the day. Once you plan out your day, you can actually find the little spots in there that you can find time to work out. The second way to find time to work out is to either sign up for a class or hire a coach. Now this is super important because accountability is key. When somebody's relying on you or you're relying on them, you're a little bit more committed. And then two, you can actually leverage this in the workplace. Imagine going up to your boss and saying, hey Jim, hey Susan, I'm really taking this year to really invest in my health and take care of my body. So what I did is I hired a coach, I signed up for this class, I might have to leave a little bit earlier on Wednesdays or I might have to come in a little bit later on Thursdays. If your boss doesn't let you go to that class or get that coach, you might need to look for a different job. So if you leverage your health and you put somebody else in the equation that helps you, one, stay a little bit more accountable and then it also allows you to kind of use it as an excuse or a reason to leave a little bit earlier or to get in a little bit later to the office. Now you may say, no, that's not gonna work. I really just don't have money for a trainer or coach or classes. Then I ask the next question, how can you split up the workouts? Experts really recommend only 30 minutes a day of activity. Now that 30 minutes can be broken down into two 15 minute activities or three 10 minute activities. Now 10 minutes, you can find 10 minutes anywhere. You could take 10 minutes while you're cooking your food to do some body squats and some push ups. You could take 10 minutes to just run up and down stairs in the morning before you head up to work. If you break down the work workouts into smaller chunks. It makes it a little bit easier to stick to. Once you get those little chunks in, you're gonna feel accomplished. So you're gonna have three small wins rather than one big win. Now the fourth and final way, and this is for everybody who's like, I can't get a coach. I can't split up my time. I planned out my day and there's nothing left. That's when I say leverage your office. There's a lot of different things you can do during your work day that can help you stay active. One is walking around the floor. I usually get up during work while I'm on a phone call. Maybe I'll stand up, stretch a little bit. That's a really good way to stay active. Another is to take the stairs. Try to avoid all type of mechanical modes of transportation in the workplace. So if it's an escalator, walk up the stairs. If it's an elevator, walk up the stairs. Just find some way to keep your body moving. Another thing you can include are exercises that you could do at your desk. My favorites are the desk dips where you're basically basically doing dips at the side of your desk. You can also do body weight squats. You can also do different stretches. You can do isometric holds while you're sitting in the chair by holding up really good posture. People may think you look weird, but at the end of the day, you're being healthy while they're not. So those are the four ways to find time to work out on a busy schedule. One, actually plan out your day and see where you can fit time in. Two, hire a coach or sign up for a workout class. Three, chunk out the workout times throughout the day. Four, leverage your office to do some type of activity. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I do have one last question. Which of those four ways do you think will be easiest to stick to when it comes to finding time to work out? Put in the comment box below and let me know.